it's almost disappointing when you hear people say, well, why do we do this? And it's like, well, why wouldn't we do it? High school, I went to a Wego Free Academy uh, in upstate New York. Um, and then college was Tulane University in New Orleans. When I was 17, when I left home, uh, about 1,200 miles away to go to Tulane, they had a really good engineering school, uh, which was part of the decision. And then the other part was uh, I, get, I, I received a Naval ROTC scholarship. And I think, you know, to be in engineering in college, even as an undergraduate, I think most people who went through it realize that you, you have to enjoy it because it's a lot of work. It also kind of opened up those doors follow on. You know, it allowed me to go to test pilot school. It allowed me to meet the requirements to apply to be an astronaut. I played every sport possible. I uh, was a team captain on a number of sports teams. I just enjoyed being part of a team. Having a goal, uh, even shuttle crew or an ISS crew, you're talking six to seven people, very much like a sports team in a sense. Obviously a little smaller, a little more intimate, and you, you build a huge bond with those people just like you would with a sports team. And I, and I think uh, you, know, you have a leader, you have a captain, the commander. You, know, you have this huge goal that you're trying to accomplish. And, you know, you do everything you can to make sure you're part of that mission is a success because you, you want the team to succeed. And, you know, within the Department of the Navy, you have the Navy and the Marine Corps, so I chose to go what they called Marine Option, um, and I wanted to be a pilot. For me, it was more, I was very interested in space and really interested in airplanes, and, and I just kind of followed that passion. I couldn't think of anything that I would have rather done. I mean, it was just, I really, really enjoyed being a being a fighter pilot and, and being a Marine. I love to be outdoors. Uh, you know, my father and I would go on a trip every year, uh, some typically somewhere remote, you know, a lot of hiking, you know, in the mountains. Anytime you're, you're hiking, you just want to see what's over that next hill. I think, uh, you know, we have a history as humans of being explorers. And then just the excitement. I mean, I think it's just, it's almost instinctive in a human being to, to want to explore. You know, I remember my first space flight on Endeavour, uh, but with 135, it was a little bit different. It was a, one of the highlights of my professional career being part of that mission. Um, you know, you know, unique in, in a way, you know, there was only four of us on the crew. Uh, it was the last flight of the program. Uh, and, then, and then just the opportunity to just thank the people that had been involved in many cases since the beginning of the shuttle program. In a way, it was very bittersweet because you know, it was the majority of American human spaceflight was on the space shuttle. And it does, it changes you in a, in a way that's a little bit hard to describe, a little bit of intrinsic change. It's a little bit of a, you know, just a, your personal philosophy on life, I think, changes to some degree. And, and I, don't, I don't see how it can't. You're riding a controlled explosion to space. You're flying around the Earth at 17,500 mile an hour. Looking back at your planet, which is this teeny little blue dot, I don't, I don't think you're human if it doesn't change how you feel about yourself, about life, about the universe. We've gone the better part of five years uh, plus without a domestic capability it is tough. It's tough on us and it's great that we have the opportunity to fly with the Russians and they, they fly you know, a very good vehicle in the Soyuz um, and so we've been able to maintain our presence in space but to be part of this where we're returning this capability to the United States flying rockets out of Florida with people on them is, is, is very exciting and I think it frankly the United States should have this capability so I'm glad to be a part of it.